Here are questions one and two from the 8.3 worksheet where we have to add on the additional examples. I'm just going to pick a couple at a time and create a short video with hints if you're stuck on what to do. The goal would be to look at your picture and reread the given information, just so that you have an idea of how that picture formed. Then as you add on the new example, try to figure out, well, what would you do from here? All right, for example, here's question one. It says ship A spots ship B on a bearing of 220 degrees. So when I created this, I started at point A and I just drew a due north. I just picked somewhere on my paper and started with A. The rotation goes around A 220 degrees. And I'm just approximating that. I know that's more than halfway around because halfway is 180. From there, I just created a segment to show the boundary of that bearing, and I put an endpoint at B. That's how I created the picture. The new question, though, is what is the bearing of ship B from, excuse me, A from ship B? This means we're starting at B, and we have to rotate back over to A. Anytime you're asked to create a bearing, what you want to do is just create your own north again. That's how we always start off our course or bearings. By definition, they always go clockwise. That means to get to that segment that connects us back to A, we're gonna go in this direction. Now, we need to figure out that angle. That's ultimately what we're solving for. If we think about the angles that were formed on, from the notes, we know that anything that has two norths would have consecutive interior angles in between but that 220 is kind of stumping us. It's not in between to help us. Thinking about point A, all the way around that point would be 360 degrees. Therefore, to get that angle on the right, if we do 360 minus 220, you would get 140. That'd be the measure on that inside loop, on that right-hand side. Well then, to get our bearing on that left-hand side, these two angles are going to be supplementary. Therefore, if we do 180 minus 140, we simply get 40 degrees. That would be the bearing from B to ship A. But remember, anytime a bearing doesn't have three digits, we place zero out in front as our placeholder. And here's our second question, kind of the same idea. Ship Q spots ship R on a bearing of 085 degrees. So I just picked a point and labeled it Q, that's where I started, and I drew my due north and rotated almost 90 degrees, and I just labeled it 85. The new question, what is the bearing of ship Q from ship R? So now we're kind of working backwards. We're gonna start at ship R and then rotate to Q. But here's what you have to remember. When we draw our due north, by definition, we have to rotate clockwise. So we're not going backwards towards the 85. I'm gonna go clockwise around R until I get to that segment. This is ultimately my bearing over here on the right-hand side. But 85 isn't connected to that. 85 is actually connected on the inside, kind of the reverse of what we did up above. In between the two norths, the 85 would be supplementary to the angle by R that's on the inside. Therefore, if you subtract 85, you're going to get 95 degrees. And that would be that measure on the inside for the right-hand part of the problem. Then to get the bearing, that just continues or finishes our loop around point R. Therefore, if we do 360 minus 95, we would get a bearing of just 265 degrees. That's three digits, so that's the bearing from ship R back to ship Q. There are tutorials or little hint videos like this for each of the remaining sets of problems that we didn't do together in class. Question three we did together, so I didn't create a video for it, but there are short videos to help you get set up on what to do for the rest of the problems. If you have any questions from here, please reach out and let me know.